Um, a couple people asked me why why I hold pepper so much. Um, and am I afraid? Good morning, first of all, or evening. Um, some of y'all asked me why I hold pepper so much, and that's kind of interesting um, to hear that because there's two reasons. First, she's a seven-week-old puppy now, eight-week-old puppy now, and she needs to know that we're connected. And she's not connected with her mommy anymore. So now I'm the new mom. So she, there has to be a connection with her and I. Um, she's a very dominant female, and she, you know, she can go at it, which is a good characteristic in this breed of a dog. But I also um, want to continue to nurture the good qualities while correcting the qualities that I don't want to see in her, like the nipping and the um, correction that I do when she's nipping. So, um, what I do is when I have a puppy that use, likes to use her mouth an awful lot, I um, could do the correction, of course, by even my placing my hands over the dog's mouth. Um, more than likely, I'm turning her inner lip over her teeth so she can feel what that feels like and she doesn't like it. And then I tell her no, no bite. Um, and after I you know, scold her and let her know that it's not a behavior that I'm gonna tolerate that, or that I like, uh, when, she, when I see that she gets it, I want to make sure these moments right here are a continuous because if I don't, then I'm breaking her spirit and that's something I don't want to do. So I want there to be a connection. I also want her to continue to need and respect human touch. I'm not going to be able to do this in a few months because she's going to be used. In fact, it's not even something that I'm going to want to do in a few months. Um, given the fact that she'd be so huge, but I think I can take the time now why she is so small and take advantage of these moments because she is so small. So it's not like I'm spoiling her. You don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm not spoiling her at all. I'm continuing to domesticate her because while animals are pack animals, they live also with a pack of humans. You know, and so there's human behaviors that I try to, I have to acclimate her to with her pet mentality. Does that make any sense? I hope so. So for those of y'all who ask me why I hold her, why I pick her up, I'm glad that you're here at this channel so I can um, you know, explain some of the things that y'all ask me. And I don't have to do it every time you, uh, you know, see me or you see me holding the puppy. So thanks for visiting my channel. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to do my best to bring you videos every day or load up video and dog puppy education in terms of just the psychology of dogs and then the psychology of human beings and sometimes how we mix them up. Um, I think it's very important that we understand that. And some, you know, I hear a lot of people in, in the hood that, you know, in the hood, we talk about how white people love their dogs. And, um, but I'm here to say that black people love their dogs too. We just don't sleep with them. Some of us do. I don't sleep with mine. Um, some people do. And I don't think any less of a person that if they sleep with their dog, then it's just not for me. They lick their butts and all that other kind of stuff that I just don't want in my bed. <laughs> so, but to each his own. 
Now, um, I have let a dog sleep at the foot of my bed. That that's about as close as I've gotten. So, no, I don't let dogs sleep in, in my bed, but I do do. Uh, I do try to keep them as close to knowing my habits as possible, because I think that makes the best dog possible dog that is relating to you knows you just like the more time you spend with the dog you know him or her so those things are important and it's important that I bring y'all a little education some that I've learned while being a health inspector uh, vector control officer or what you call maybe you're seeing animal control officer um, and not only the education per city ordinance because I just work in a specific city. I don't know the ordinances in your town, but I know some of the attributes that it takes to make a well balanced dog. And they are some of the same balance, I mean, same, same qualities that it takes to make a balanced human being. Okay? And as you know better, you'll get better. So, but the main thing is to introduce you to uh, canine education. So, right here, I think this channel uh, is going to attempt to do that. Uh, my name is Kay, as y'all all know. And this is Can Grande Candy, which means great dogs in Italian. And these Italian Mastiffs or these um, Canarios, um, Aborables, these Masters to me are really a great dog. And if they're socialized well, and if they are um, loved on, I don't know a better protector than this dog and more loving dog than this breed right here. So, and I'm a person that used to breed Rottweilers. I'm a person who's uh, had um, experience uh, raising pit bulls. In fact, um, I think over 50 years ago, my brother, one of my brothers was responsible for bringing uh, the first pit bulls to the state that I live in, to the city, I'm sorry, that I live in. Um, Although his intentions weren't very well, he did what they were bred to do. Okay, so he was Mike Vick, and he was arrested before Mike Vick got arrested. God bless the dead, because he's not here anymore. Um, but like I guess I'm going to stay tuned to this channel, and hopefully I can give y'all a few tidbits, and you can share a few with me about how you address certain behaviors and. Um, maybe some education tools that we all could use while we're trying to make it with our um, beloved family companions who love us whether we're rich or poor who loves us whether we're black or white who loves us and are loyal to us whether we're having a good day the best day of our lives or whether we're having the worst days of our lives these companions have a way of brightening our days, or well, at least they should. That was the purpose of domesticating them. And they have a way of loving you unconditionally, which I think everybody needs. Especially if you a person that have a lot of challenges. It's something that you you had a lot of challenges emotionally, mentally. And once you can get that together, it's good to have something to care for. You know, just my way of thinking. All right, all right. Yeah, see you guys in the next video.